Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor and I'm on a mission to rebuild and restore the 111 year old classic sailing yacht Tally Ho. I'm down in Port Townsend, uh, just around the corner from Tally Ho um, and I have to say it feels really great to uh, be in a place where there's so much uh, maritime activity going on, uh, you know there's boats on the water, there's people sailing around, there's a lot of very skilled maritime trades here and just a really great community so it feels really good to be here and um, I've had a great welcome so far so thank you everyone in Port Townsend. Uh, this video is going to be all about the new workshop and getting that space set up for the next phases of work on Tally Ho. Now some of you will have seen a little while ago uh, a video I made all about Pete and his story. And if you haven't seen it I really recommend you go back and watch it because I think it's one of the best stories I've ever heard for sure. But uh, if you've seen that you will remember this building because this building used to be Pete's workshop um, that he shared with a few other shopmates. And before it was Pete's workshop, it was actually the original workshop of the uh, Port Townsend Shipwrights Co-op, uh, which are the business who are rebuilding the Western Flyer, which you may also have seen the YouTube videos of. Recently though, Pete and his shopmates decided to move out of this building and into a different building, um, and so this building became vacant. Now at that time I was looking at lots of different options for places to put Tally Ho and to work on her. So when this building became available, uh, which they don't that often, I was really excited about it. And um, you know, although it was the most expensive of all the options, after I weighed everything up, I thought it would be worth it to be down here in the port itself. Now originally, as we were planning this, uh, Tally Ho was going to be right outside this building, pretty much right here. I was planning to rent more space than just the boat itself, so I could sort of fence off an area, uh, you know, so I could safely store lumber and tools in there um, and you know, stop people from coming and getting in the way or hurting themselves. Now all that would have worked out fine, um, but this whole time there was this huge steel shed uh, right in between my new workshop and Pete's new workshop um, and we sort of dreamt of how amazing it would be to have the boat in there and then we found out it was coming up for lease uh, it was going to be empty um, and that was very exciting but I was sure I couldn't afford it because it's a huge building and it's uh, a pretty high rent then after a little while um, talking to Pete talking to Pete's uh, other shopmates over there we basically devised a plan uh, where they would rent half the building and I would rent half the building um, and that way we could afford the rent. The rent for half the building is actually uh, pretty much the same amount as I would be paying outside for the boat and the extra space that I was going to get. And then the other side of the building, Pete and his shopmates are renting out for uh, short term or longer term uh, inside boat storage. And so they're hoping to you know, pay their half of the rent through that. Um, and Pete's shopmates are going to hopefully be working on some of the boats in there. And so after a bit of toing and froing and scratching our heads, talking with the port and uh, eventually a bit of paperwork, I ended up with this workshop. Pete and his various shopmates have ended up with their workshop. And then between us all, we've got this big metal shed in the middle. I'm busy working on Tally Ho on this side, but those guys have got capacity to do a lot of really good boat work of all kinds on the other side. <laughs>
So we've all been settling in pretty well to the new crew house that I'm renting in Port Townsend. Uh, I'm really enjoying being here actually. It's really nice to have a little bit of separation between work and home. <laughs> Although I am spending a lot of time at the boatyard. But anyway, I wanted to show you uh, Patrick's pottery and clay studio, which he's set up at the house. Uh, he happens to be a very talented uh, artist and uh, doing a lot of ceramics work. And so I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what he's been up to while he's been here. I've been working in ceramics for probably 13 years now, something like that, 13, 14 years. And that includes a lot of pottery and also sculpture work. And so when Leo and I were talking about me coming back, I um, decided this time to bring a lot more like toys and activities with me, and that includes my pottery studio. I stuffed my car full of my potter's wheel, pottery kiln, a bunch of tools and about 200 pounds of clay and um, in the garage here at the new Port Townsend house the crew house I was able to set up a little pottery studio you know if you want to if you want to see more about um, the kind of work that I make I think the best way to do that is on my Instagram which the link is right here <laughs> I'm gonna put it over there. oh you're funny <laughs> I put it right on my face uh. <laughs> My name is Sean Komen. I'm the chief instructor here at the Northwest School Wooden Boat Building. A couple of weeks ago, Leo tapped me on the shoulder asking if there are any tools he could borrow for his new shop space. And it turns out we've got a couple of extra planers uh, and we're lending Leo and the Tally Ho Project a uh, 26 inch uh, Newman planer. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing that back at work up at Leo's new shop. Uh, here at the school, we're actually down in Hadlock and we have a seven acre campus uh, with about 20,000 square feet of covered shop space, including this shelter up here, we do a lot of storage. Uh, and our students come here to learn everything from boat building skills to marine systems. And we primarily put people into the trades, working on boats uh, very similar to Tally Ho. So I found a spot for my ship saw um, just next to the workshop. As you can see, it's a lot higher than it used to be because uh, we're not able to dig such a big pit here. We'll uh, build some boxes, like sort of platform boxes, which we can move around and put there when we need to use it so you can stand up and the table will be at the right height. We're probably not going to be using the ship saw a huge amount from now on, but we will need it from time to time. Uh, the next job we'll have for it will probably be the ball extensions, uh, which will be coming up relatively soon. Behind the ship saw, just around the corner, we've got the big three-phase planer, which we're borrowing from the Northwest School of Wooden Boat Building. So a big thanks to Sean and everyone else at the boat school uh, for lending us that tool um, and for everything else they do. Um, and if you're interested in uh, learning some maritime trade skills, then uh, check out the Northwest School of Wooden Boat Building because they have some really great programs.
So we do have a visitor at the moment. Pancho has been coming down and uh, spending a little bit of time with us, uh, which is really nice because uh, I enjoy having her around and uh, she seems to really enjoy the boatyard and it's also good for Raoul and Darlene to uh, have a break from looking after her. So, so far it seems to be working well and hopefully it's something we can continue. Aaron, did you find a friend? Actually, no, this found, friend found me. Just a boatyard dog, do you think? He probably owns one of the yachts around here. <laughs> oh, hey, another guy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rowan, and I'm back on the Tally Ho project after a couple months away. While I was away, I worked on a public library that will be put into a park in New York City. The library itself is uh, about the size of a refrigerator or a telephone booth. I'm excited to be back on the West Coast. It's a lot more temperate and I have avoided sweating pretty successfully since I got here. So undercover dry storage is obviously really important in a project like this and you know I've got a lot of stuff which is maybe going to go in the boat eventually uh, so it needs to be kept dry but we don't want it in the workshop especially as the shop is a bit smaller now. So I was looking at buying containers uh, but they're really expensive at the moment but luckily uh, I just mentioned it to Kiwi up at Edensor which is a, a really great local timber supplier and he offered us this old trailer which was just sitting at the back of their yard not being used and so they very kindly brought it down here and uh, we just built some steps and I'm going to have the guys build some uh, big shelving in there for all the stuff which we are not going to be using day to day. So a big thanks to Kiwi and to Edensor and uh, do check them out if you are looking for good quality lumber in this area. So the guys did a great job on these shelves. Um, uh, we've got space to put more shelves in if and when we need them, but for now this is more than enough uh, just to put boat parts and old jigs and you know paints and stuff, things that we don't use day to day but we'll need eventually. And uh, it's nice to just keep them out of the way here and out of the weather and nice and secure and uh, keep our workshop space clear for actually working in. So we're just getting Leo settled into his new digs over here in Port Townsend. It's been pretty hectic for the last few weeks, getting everything moved from Squim, getting settled in our new shops. Um, I moved to my new shop in May and 
still getting set up, um, helping Leo get his shop set up and getting the boat settled. Uh, I'm happy to be back in Port Townsend where my shop is and it's a lot closer to home for me. So I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Um, it seems like Leo and the crew are also having a good time over here. It's a big, big change, but the yard here is really fun. So anyway, yeah, we've got the boat in the big building, safe, secure, out of the wind, out of the weather. We will be work, doing a lot of deck, deck work coming up um, and uh, keeping the boat out of the wind and the rain, especially this winter. Uh, winters here are dark and wet. Yeah, I'm, I'm in this new shop with, uh, we're kind of building up a collective of craftspeople, um, slowly but surely. We're kind of turning into, on my side of the, the yard here, uh, into a full service shop. Um, so, I'm, I mean, I'm on Tally Ho for the next two years. <laughs> um, but I, I do work closely with a bunch of other independent contractors. So two other shipwrights, a finish worker, an upholster, uh, welder, fabricator, machinist, mechanic, fabricator, machinist, marine systems. And so we're all kind of settling in these two buildings. For my partners, ideally we're going to keep boats going in and out next to Tally Ho. So we have indoor storage to accommodate up to, we think 60 foot. We haven't put a 60 footer in there yet, but uh, we're going to see what we can squeeze in there. Um, so it's really great working on, on boats and in, in the big steel building, quiet secluded, you know, so anyway. So after a lot of work, the workshop is finally more or less usable. So we're gonna do a quick workshop tour. Right now I'm on the ground floor um, and the ground floor is mostly where we're gonna be doing sort of big timber work, um, and milling and stuff like that. So uh, we've got the big doors which open up to where we've got our ship saw and a planer outside. We've got a bunch of bench tools down here and upstairs, most of which I bought, but some of which were uh, lent to me and even given to me. So big thanks to people responsible for that. Um, I bought this old jointer, which I'm really pleased with. Uh, it's a really nice machine um, and that table saw too. And so down here, we can run timber through with those doors open, we can run pretty long lengths of timber through. We've adjusted all the bench tools down here, so the tables are all the same height, and then we've got a rolling outfeed table, uh, which we can move around to use on whatever tool we might be using. It also works as just a sort of mobile bench. We have got an extraction system down here, which runs out to a sort of uh, cupboard under the stairs. Um, so that's really nice, because it's out of the way. We've got a remote switch for it, and uh, it's gonna hopefully keep it from getting too dusty in here and there's one of the old original benches on that side of the building and then we put in uh, this bench on this side of the building going the whole length which is actually made out of reject planking stock um, and we've got our uh, big chop saw on this side. I have got pretty good security here I've got some really heavy duty bars uh, which lock up these big opening doors and we've got bars on the windows um, we've got a pretty good security system uh, with cameras and then of course there's 24 hour uh, security in the port as well, which is quite nice. So up here on the uh, the first floor or the second floor, depending on where you're from, uh, the floor that is up one flight of stairs. Uh, this is where we're going to be doing, uh, you know, a lot more of the finer work, probably a lot more of the joinery and the cabinetry as we go forward into the fit out. And so right now we've got a lot more of the hand tools and the finer tools up here, uh, routers and things like that. A lot of planes and chisels. We've got one table saw up here right now. I'm hoping to uh, possibly get some other bench tools up here. And there's a couple of really nice things about this area. One is that there's a big uh, opening door that goes out onto the front of the building. So it's really easy to uh, get stuff, big stuff up here with the forklift. And there's another doorway which goes out the back of this building um, onto a little sort of bridge and directly into the big metal shed next door where Tally Ho is. And it comes out uh, at right about sort of deck level. We've also got our tea break and lunch area up here. Uh, we've just got a small fridge and a kettle and of course, our favorite couch that we bought with us from Squim. We do have some basic extraction set up here uh, just with a few shop vacs connected to the tools. I am hoping to get a larger uh, proper extractor up here um, eventually but for now this is working pretty well. So up here right at the top of the building there's actually a pretty cool loft space um, and this is uh, going to be a really useful sort of versatile area. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing some filming up here when I'm explaining things. I've got my 
uh, drafting table up here. I've got a desk up here, so I'll probably be doing a lot of editing here. So here's Tally Ho in her new home in this rather magnificent steel shed. She does share this space with other boats. Uh, the other half of the shed is going to be rented out to any boats that want to do short or medium or even long term uh, undercover work. Hopefully mostly traditional wooden boats, but essentially uh, whatever we can get in here to uh, help pay the bills. Um, and you know, this side of the shed is something that Pete and his shopmate is running, but I'm going to help them get boats in there if I can. I do have my little gaff rig sailing dinghy here under the bow. Being so close to the water here and having this much space, I'm able to keep it rigged and uh, I have managed to take it out sailing just the one time so far. Now in the back of this shed, we've got a little metal working area, uh, which we've still got to set up a little bit more, but you know, we've got welder and grinding equipment and um, all that sort of thing back here. We'll probably be putting up uh, you know, some kind of screens to protect the boat from grinding sparks and stuff like that but we don't really want to be doing metal work in the wooden building next door so this is a better place for it. On the other side of the boat we've also got some wood racks that we've made we've got some uh, some racks and some shelves inside this building and we made a couple of racks for scrap wood outside as well. So out here you can see uh, my new workshop behind me here um, and our very uh, beautiful storage container trailer. Uh, on this side of course this is the big shed inside which is Tally Ho and then behind that is uh, Pete's new workshop which he shares uh, with some other really excellent craftspeople. But this is our working area, um, the travel lift comes up and down here carrying boats around and you know we're surrounded by boats. Um, we've got some really nice wooden boats uh, sort of behind the workshop at the moment um, and it's just a really great place to be and very fitting place to continue this project. While it's been a long process moving everything and setting up this new workshop um, and a little frustrating at times because um, I think we're all very eager just to get on with the work on the boat but I did want to really try and make an effort to get the workshop dialed in first um, and so that when we do get onto the boat we're going to be really efficient and we're going to have a good working space and know where everything is. So that's pretty much done, we can get back to it which is really nice. Um, I do still have some stuff up in Squim at Raoul and Darlene's place. Uh, I've moved a lot of stuff out and cleared up a lot, um, but they've very kindly said I can keep timber there for as long as I want. So I am keeping an area of timber up there and I'm keeping my forklift up there, of course, because I'm going to need to load that timber. Um, so eventually, uh, when it's all gone out of there and it's all down here or has gone wherever else it's going, you know, then I'm going to um, make sure that their whole yard is uh, looking really nice and clean and tidy and you know hopefully the yard as well as the workshop will be a lot better um, when I leave than when I uh, arrived. Raoul and Darlene uh, and myself were all really touched by the amazing responses from the last video and all the really really kind words uh, from you guys. Um, so thank you for leaving such beautiful comments and just for being uh, such a great supportive and wonderful community. Um, and yeah this is about it so Thanks for watching as well, and a, a huge, huge thanks to uh, everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. Obviously, it means we're able to keep on working, it means I'm able to make these videos, uh, and it means we were able to, uh, you know, move the boat out of peril uh, and uh, into a much more uh, professional, efficient working environment, get it one step closer to the water. Looking forward to getting to know the boatyard myself and showing you guys around uh, all the projects and people and uh, skills that are here in the yard, I think it'll be really interesting. So um, stay tuned and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.